I'm Autumn Johnson for NCAA Digital, and I'm joined by Stanford's Cameron Brink. And Cam, we have a surprise for you. Hey, Cam. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? <laughs> Good. I'm doing well. I was happy to be able to surprise you. <laughs> Hopefully it was a surprise. I know like digitally it's different because you can like see people's names, but I hope you're still surprised. <laughs> well, Cam, meet Neka Gomake. As you know, she's currently in the WNBA as a power forward for the LA Sparks, where she won a championship in MVP in 2016. Um, NECA is a Stanford legend who played from 2008 to 2012 and helped the Cardinal to four Final Fours. And NECA, meet Cameron Brink, a five-star talent rated as the number three player in the country. She's McDonald and Jordan Brand Classic All-American, two-time Gatorade Oregon Player of the Year. It's just so great to have the both of you to tip off this series and to have NECA here. Who was once in your shoes, Cam? Like, we saw your reaction. What's going through your head right now? <laughs> Um, I don't know. I just feel really blessed to be able to be doing this with you guys. And, you know, such an honor to be talking to you, NECA. You know, I look up to you. So, yeah, this is great. How are you feeling going into your first collegiate game that's happening next week? Um, I actually just came down with like a stomach bug. So poor timing, but um, I feel good now and just, you know, getting used to all the plays and still like getting used to the team, but things are going well and I'm really excited. We're excited for you and NECA, it's so great to have you here to talk to Cam. You know, what's some advice or even encouragement that you could just give to her as she prepares for a tip off on November 25th? Uh, well, you know, actually I've had the pleasure of meeting Cam. I happened to be on campus when her family visited. So it's it's been great to see her development and in a lot of ways, Cam has kind of already been Stanford before Stanford because um, her trainer is my trainer. <laughs> and so uh, we, we kind of live in this like Stanford family, you know, so I hope that she feels comfortable, um, you know, entering life on the farm. I know it's very different this year, obviously, you know, it's not what you expected it to be, but I think it's important to know how resilient you guys are. You know, it's, I know how hard it was for me um, as a freshman in a normal world. And so I can only imagine the stress that you guys are experiencing, but I think it's important for you to understand that you're there for a reason and you have a family that's there um, that can really support you in your journey. Um, and to also like find, find joy and have fun in whatever way you can, because um, in, a, in a year that's been quite crazy for everybody, the most we can do is just find a little bit of laughter, a little bit of love um, in this journey. And also understand that like your identity isn't just you playing, but you can become such a better person um, through what you do on the court and of course off the court. Yeah, Cam, let's talk about those challenges. Has there been any early challenges or even adversities for you that you've experienced in the preseason? Of course, with COVID going every on and everything, but just like personally as a player, how have those challenges been transitioning from high school ball to now the collegiate level? Um, I definitely say like the pace of the game is much different. Everything's faster. Everyone's much stronger. Um, and it's just been like a quick adjustment. We've been learning all of our plays really quickly. Um, but our upperclassmen and everyone like has been helping us so much. So while it is challenging and like a really weird year, um, we have a great support system and it's, you know, it's been really great so far. Neka, what challenges or even adversities did you face as a rookie? And then how did you overcome them? Um, as a rookie or as a freshman? As a freshman. Okay, as a freshman, okay. <laughs> um, as a freshman, you know, I think the biggest challenge was kind of like finding your way, finding your place in a world that's still new. And a lot of times there's this yearning to find that place because you picked where you're at and um, I think it's important to understand that that pressure shouldn't it shouldn't get to you and in a lot of ways in the college experience both on and off the court um, you know the experience finds you and you also find the experience it's a very reciprocal type of thing and so um, relieving yourself of that pressure and just especially in your first year enjoying as much of it as you can however 
uh, I guess, untraditional the college experience is. Like, um, you really just have to try to enjoy as much of it as you can and really just lean into like discovering new things um, as a player and as a student athlete. And let's talk about NECA, just like your dominance during your time at Stanford. Like when we look at the record books, I mean, you're everywhere. Um, you left Stanford as the second time all-time leading scorer. I mean, just overall left your impact and print on Stanford altogether as a program legend. How were you able to be so dominant in your position at Stanford? Um, you know, I think that I've always kind of been um, a lead by example type of person, even before I realized that that was kind of my leadership style. And so I really leaned into getting better in practice. Um, and through that, I was able to kind of understand better how I could play with certain teammates, communicate with certain coaches and, um, and vice versa. You know, I think through that journey, what really distinguished kind of my growth was who I allowed to um, help me grow you know, and understanding that I couldn't do it by myself. So that was kind of a big part of, I guess, what I experienced in terms of, you know, my growth as a player at Stanford. And Cam, we know so much is in store for you, so much excitement around this team as well. What are some goals you've set out for yourself in your freshman year? Um, honestly, like playing is a big goal. I want to be able to make an impact and help our team win. Like I I want us to win the Pac-12 championship. I think we could win a national championship, but Tara always tells me like, you're a freshman, you're allowed to make mistakes. So um, just like Neko said, I'm gonna try to enjoy this year and not stress too much about it. Absolutely. And let's talk about coach, of course, what were some of the baseline standards that she had you guys going after? You know, one thing that I guess that the overarching sentiment around um, Stanford was, it was really just the, the practices should be harder than the games. And I think that it wasn't necessarily um, explicit, but it was, it was kind of the undertone of everything that we did. You know, if you can simulate the challenges that you'll experience in the game and practice, and most importantly, make each other better. You know, we have the red and the white team and it's competitive every single practice. I mean, every shooting drill, I know Kate is very competitive. So like every shooting drill, you have to, you know, you, you're, you're vying to win, you know, and you're challenging each other. And that was very much kind of um, the foundation in which, you know, we were able to be great and excellent as a team. And if you could go back and tell 2008 rookie NECA anything, <laughs> tell her. Um, it's not that serious. <laughs> I, I mean, that's because I, I, I'm very, um, I'm very regimented. And uh, I think that once you let go of pressure, and that now becomes kind of not only expectation, but just like a way of life, you know, you wanting to be great in everything doesn't necessarily you're going to be the greatest at everything. You can bring your whole self to everything that you do. And if one day that's 80%, you got to bring 100% of that 80%. But pushing myself to the limit in which um, the fire doesn't light inside of me, I think is something that I I would tell younger NECA, but who's to say that it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be NECA today without understanding that. So, yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Cam. I'm going to have the floor open to you. Do you have anything for NECA? <laughs> I'm just like super thankful to be like this is such a surprise like this has been so awesome just to like listen to you and this has like been really good encouragement because things are hard during like COVID I, it's not at all what I expected it to be. Well good luck this season Cam we're so excited to watch your journey at Stanford and NECA thank you so much for giving advice as a legend to a rookie.